This is a Quickie power chair made by Sunrise Medical. This is a Quickie QM710. <clears throat> this is their latest in the suspension. This is called the Spider Track Suspension. That's what, uh, that's what Quickie calls this. This is called the Spider Track Suspension, meaning the front wheels are suspended and the back wheels have shocks also. If you watch this, you can see me, you can see the suspension right there moving. So it's called a Spider Track Suspension. Six wheels on the ground, very good suspension. The newest electronics. This chair has electric tilt, electric recline, and electric legs. Uh, this chair is in new condition, as you can see. Uh, it was very dusty when we got it here because it was been sitting in someone's garage. But it's in new condition. It was used, they, they tell me when I picked it up, anywhere from three to four months. So, but the tires are new, so if, if it was used, then it was only going to the doctor's office. This is a high quality chair. It's made by Quickie. Quickie power chairs are very well built. They use good, good metal and they use very good motors. These are four brush motors. These are highly demanded, highly in demand motors. All right, so to work a function on this chair, you have to do it through the joystick. So you would go to the mode button right here. Right now we're on drive. As you can see, it will drive right now. But if you hit the mode, now we're on the picture of the seat. And with the picture of the seat, you find where the black is, that's what's going to move with the joystick. So I'm going to move the joystick sideways until we get to the back. In the bottom is black, that's your tilt. If I push the joystick forward, you can see your tilt going back. That's your electric tilt. There's a swing away joystick on here, so you can swing the joystick away from the front. And actually, if I had the joystick a little bit more forward, There we go. A little more forward, we could swing the joystick all the way to the side like this. So this is your electric tilt right here. While we have the seat tilted, let's talk about the base. You have 14-inch solid non-skid wheels. You've got the active, active track suspension, which I mentioned earlier. The front is suspended. The back also has a shock. There's a shock back here that pushes against the back wheel. You can see it behind the back wheel right here. You have a shock. You can see it right here. This is a shock right here that goes to the back suspension. Okay? You've got motors here. These are four pole motors, meaning there's four brushes in here. These are higher quality motors. This chair will probably go at least six miles an hour when you're outside. And it's a high torque motor. So it's high speed, high torque, very good motors. If you had to put this chair in neutral and you want to push it, you could not push it right now because it's in gear. But by pushing the joystick, the uh, lever down, it unlocks your wheel. So you'd have to unlock both sides and then you can roll the chair around. But this chair probably weighs close to 375 pounds, so it's not like it's an easy chair to push, but if you had to, then put it back in gear and you're back in gear, okay? You've got anchor points here, so if you need to tie your chair, this is tied right to the frame, so it's very solid, an anchor point here, and you have another one right here that's sticking out, so you have really good anchor points on this chair, as I said, Quickie makes a really, really good power chair. So, this is the, the base and the motors, we've covered that. Now, I'm gonna bring the seat back down. <clears throat> the arms do go up, out of the way. And they have really good armatures on the arms, and I don't play, the, the arm is not gonna have any play, really good armatures, as I said, they're well built. The joystick can go on the left side if you're left-handed, no problem at all. Uh, I'm going to reset the chair here because I put it in neutral so I have to turn the power back on and let the chair know we're not in neutral anymore. Okay, so now we have to seat back down. Um, if you wanted to, the legs to go up, you would go to the legs next. And the legs go out by themselves electrically. And they're adjustable, so if you're five foot tall or six foot tall, we can make these legs to fit you. The nice thing about these here, They'll go up and they'll go out. You'll see once it reaches a certain height, you can see it right now, it's pushing out. So it's giving you another two inches, three inches of legs. So if you want to have some circulation in your body, you could, you could set the tilt on this chair like we had it a second ago. Ah, I went past it. I have to go all the way around again. You could do this if you wanted circulation in your leg, you want your legs higher in your body. About right about here, you would be higher than your than your body, and you could have circulation. You, you can go all the way back if you want. 
Uh, it's entirely up to you. So that's the electric tilt if you want a circulation in your legs. The next thing we're going to cover is the electric recline. So this would be your recline. Keep forgetting, I've got to go forward with this one. This is your electric recline going back. As I said, these arms do slide out of the way. So I'm going to hold it and see how far back it goes. All right, so that's your electric recline. So if you wanted to see what you look like if you were laying down, it doesn't go all the way flat. This would be your position, legs up, seat all the way down, this way. Now, if you wanted more than that, if you wanted more positioning than that, you would have to go to probably, let me see if it'll work, go back to your tilt, oh, forward. All right, so it will not tilt, this chair will not tilt. So this is it. So if the recline, this way, for it to tilt, you need to bring the back back up, then it'll tilt, okay? So we've covered the electric legs, the electric recline, and the electric tilt. I'm gonna bring the recline back up. Matter of fact, I can bring the recline and the legs back up at the same time. Well, the back would come up and the legs would come down at the same time. You can do two functions at one on this joystick. So when you're outside, make sure you leave your legs out so you have more room under there, okay? Right now, they're set up probably for a person 5'2", five, 5'3". Five, so when I drive the chair outside, if you see my knees bent, it's because we, don't, we have not dropped the legs we wait till someone buys the chair, then we adjust what we need to adjust at that time. So, now I'm back into drive mode. This is a mid-wheel drive, so that means you can turn it all day long in your house like this, in a circle. So if you have, this is about 48 inches. So if you, if you have 48 inches, you can just turn it all the way around. Now the legs are a little bit out, so you can probably bring those legs in and have a little better turning radius. So I'm going to bring this chair forward. I'm going to bring the legs. Well, we'll leave them. Well, I don't like the way they look. They're too far out. Let me bring them back down again. And we're going to bring them down so they're more under the chair so I can show you when you get out. So if you were to exit the chair, you would bring your legs all the way under the chair like this. And then you would flip your foot plate up, then you would get out. That would be your, that would be your exit, okay? The, uh, so that's that. The seat on this chair is 18 by 18. It's an 18 by 18, you have safety belt here. Right here, you have your safety belt. The seat is 18 by 18. This is a high back, this is contour, this is really high quality. You have lateral pads that it can be pushed out if you don't want them there, or you can take them off completely, there's a little lever. Or you can, you can keep them there. Keeps you from, if you're a person who shifts from one side to the other, they're really nice padded pads over here. This is a headrest that can be, can be removed. Or you can adjust the height, you can adjust the tip, you can adjust, it's all adjustable, okay? I'm gonna put it back in drive. As I said, you do have a swing away joystick. On the back of the chair, as I mentioned earlier, these are four pole motors. These motors are high quality. Plus, they're very fast. They go about six miles an hour. You've got push bars here if you need it to push this chair. And you can see the suspension right there. Look at the suspension. You can see the motors tied to the wheel. You can see the suspension in the back. You can see the suspension in the front. Okay? So if you're going outside and you have a sidewalk that's got a lot of cracks, it's going to feel a lot smoother. It's not going to take all the, all the cracks out, but it's going to make it smoother. When you charge this chair, you would take your charger and you would plug it in the bottom of your joystick right here. And as soon as the light turns green, you're fully charged. The charger will stop charging. As soon as the batteries are full, this will stop charging. You don't have to worry about overcharging your chair. There's two batteries in here. They're group, 50, they're group 22. So it takes two of them, group 22, 55 amp batteries. This chair will get about 13 to 15 miles on a battery charge because it's a pretty well-built chair, so it's heavy chair. It's got a lot of electronics on it. It all depends if you're in the grass, the dirt, or pavement, what the mileage, the distance you will get. You also have guard, uh, lateral pads here. These pads can be moved on this track right here so that they go to the side. So most of the time they're right about here. This person wanted them over here. We can move them all the way and they can be removed. 
okay? We can move them all the way up to here. You've got a little bag here if you want to put your cell phone. You can see how nice quality that is. So they can be moved all the way over there. So if you're looking for a quickie power chair, very well built power chair, I cannot change the seat size on this one. So if you're buying this one, it's going to be 18 by 18. I can change the cushion. I can give you any cushion you want, but I can't change the, and this cushion is a high quality cushion. And a nice contoured back. So this is built probably for a person, well it would fit me perfect because I'm six foot tall. I'm pretty slim here, but if you need, uh, if you're a little wider here and you want this chair, you probably would have to remove these and it would still be a good, very, very comfortable chair. Uh, electric tilt, electric recline, electric legs, safety belt, lateral pad, chest pads, adjustable arm, swing away joystick, uh, spider track suspension, anchor points, solid tires, little bag for your cell phone, all kinds of goodies on this chair and it's ready to go. So this is the Invicare uh, QM710 power chair with electric tilt, electric recline, electric legs. Um, I went in the grass a little more than most of them. And you can see how well, you can, I can feel the suspension when I'm in the grass. It's a little bumpy out there, but you can see how the suspension works. And you can see if, even if I lean, you can see the suspension as I lean. Great suspension on this chair. So this chair will go through grass, will go through a lot of stuff. Six miles an hour, like new condition. Fantastic chair, very well built. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We are a family owned business for over 25 years. We have many products available, not just what you see in this video. If you would like to learn more, you can call the number below at 800-677-6293 or you can visit us directly at www.marksmobility.com. Dot com.